What up, everybody? Instructor Boots back again here with another scientific notation. In today's lesson, though, we're going to be writing small numbers in scientific notation. All right, so we're going to be doing the opposite of what we did last lesson. Let's take a look at our objective today. Our objective today. Today, I will be able to understand what scientific notation is and how to rewrite small numbers using scientific notation. Let's check out our math vocabulary that we actually covered last lesson, right? But what is scientific notation? Scientific notation is a convenient way or an easy way to write really big numbers or really small numbers using the powers of 10. So whether you're talking about the weight of a giant sequoia tree or the weight of the cell, we can write those numbers using scientific notation and make it quicker and easier to write the values of numbers. Let's take a look at the basics we'll be using today in this lesson. We kind of covered this in our last lesson, but today you'll see that my exponent is a negative exponent. And that's because we're gonna be rewriting smaller numbers and using our negative exponent rule to help us understand this. If you need help with what that is, check out our negative exponent rule video lesson that we have. But just like before, when we write a number in scientific notation, we're gonna have a number, and we're gonna be multiplying that by a power of 10, right? So our base is gonna be 10, and we're gonna have an exponent here that's gonna help us be a shortcut, really, to write this number in standard form. But first, let's understand what's really happening. So here we have 6.5. Those are our significant digits, right? Which really is the numbers in front of all the zeros, okay? And we're gonna be multiplying that by 10 to the negative third power, which if you checked out our exponent lesson, you understand is really three copies of 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth, okay? If you do 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth, we really have one one thousandth. So really what this is saying is 6.5 times 1 one thousandth. When we're multiplying by 1 1 thousandth, that's really the same thing as dividing by the reciprocal. So over here, kind of what's really happening is 6.5 divided by 1,000, which means we need to move our decimal place to the left one, two, three places. So when you solve this out, we really get 65 10 thousandths, okay? So we rewrote, this number would be standard form, and we wrote it up here using scientific notation. Now again, you're typically not gonna write a number like 65 10 thousandths in scientific notation, because it's really just as much work, right? It's just as many digits and symbols. It's not really saving you any time. Just like we explained in our what is scientific notation, right? When we do scientific notation, we're writing numbers that are really, really small, or really, really big with lots of digits, and we're able to kind of shorten it and write it using scientific notation. Now that we understand kind of really what's happening, let's take a look at our shortcuts that make scientific notation so easy to learn. Our first shortcut is the same thing as our last lesson, right? Our exponent tells you how many times to move the decimal point. So here, this is a positive four, so we're gonna be making this number bigger. We're gonna move over one, two, three, four place values. I have my significant digits here, and then I would just have to write this in standard form. I could use my comma to help me out. And this number from scientific notation turns into 56,100. Very easy to do when you're using the shortcut looking at the exponent. That was our shortcut from last lesson. Let's take a look at our shortcut from this lesson, which really all goes back to our negative exponent rule. A negative exponent is going to tell you to move the decimal point to the left, okay? So last lesson, all our exponents up here were positive, which means we are multiplying by large numbers, right? So either 100 or 1,000, 10,000, a million, even a billion one time. And even last shortcut, right, we had this as 10,000. 10 to the fourth power is 10,000 because you're doing 10 times 10 times 10, right, times 10. But 10 to the negative fourth power really is equaling 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth, which is really multiplying by 1 ten thousandths, which is really the same thing as dividing by 10,000. 
So we're going to be making a smaller number. Again, the shortcut number two is a negative exponent tells us to move it four places to the left. So if I go ahead and write this number down and I move it one, two, three, four places to the left and then put my non-significant zeros there now, my answer would be decimal zero, 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 five, six, one which is really 561 millionths, right? Very, very, very small number. So you can see it's a little bit easier to write this with scientific notation, but even this one isn't super long with a lot of digits. So let's take a look at an I do problem. All right, so here we are is the length of a fair fly. There is a fair fly that is 5.9 times 10 to the negative three inches. And I know that's gotta be really small because what I'm about to do is I'm about to multiply really by one one thousandths, right? That's what this part of my scientific notation is telling me. But let's just use the shortcut. So we know we're going to be moving our, uh, because it's a negative exponent, we're moving it left three place values. So if I write 5.9 and I'm multiplying that by 10 to the negative third power, shortcut, move it one, two, three places to the left. And the length of a firefly is 59 10 thousandths, right? So imagine an inch, right? Which is kind of like from your pinky knuckle to your pinky first knuckle, I guess. And that divided by 1,000 basically, right? Very tiny, probably can't even see with your eye, but this is how you would write that number in standard form. So now let's take a look at the weight of a cell. So I'm not even gonna try to say this one in decimal form, right? But we have 0 0.00000000035 grams, okay? So when I think about a gram, I think kind of about the weight of a, um, a small paper clip maybe, right? That's just kind of what I think about. And so that would be like one gram would be like a paper clip, right? This is the weight of a human cell. I'm not sure if it's a skin cell, hair cell, whatever just kind of a cell, okay? Something super tiny, you gotta look in a microscope to see it. We don't wanna keep writing this if we're writing a paper on a cell, right? We don't wanna keep writing this number, that's too many digits. So what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of the non-significant digits, and we wanna write this as 3.5 times 10 to some exponent, right? And so I know that I would need to move this decimal over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places, and I know I need to make this a negative nine because if I were to solve this scientific notation right here, I'd be having to move my decimal place to the left, which means I need to be dividing by a power of 10, again, using my negative exponent rule, okay? So this is a really great reason to write scientific notation, a lot faster to write it this way than using all those digits, so here's an example going from standard form to scientific notation. Let's take a look at a U-try problem. All right, so to save time, okay, I gave you both U-try problems right here. So you're gonna pause the video. This one up here, you're gonna take this number, 3.35 times 10 to the negative six, okay? And you're gonna write that in standard form. And then down here, you're gonna take this standard form number and you're gonna write it in scientific notation, okay? So. If you need help, go back, rewatch the first part of the video. You can look at the I do problem again, but when you're ready, push pause, try it out, and then push play to check your work. So hopefully you just pause it, and now you're ready to check your work. So this first one, I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite my significant digits. I know I need to go to the left, because it's a negative exponent. Six place values, one, two, three, four, five, six. Move my decimal there, and then fill in some zeros to help me out. And when I do that, you should have gotten decimal, and you can put a 0, 0.0 here, 0. 0.0000035, okay? That is what that number is in standard form. Let's take a look at this next one. So you know your significant digit here is just a four, so you could just have a 4.0, that's okay, right? And you're gonna be multiplying this by a power of 10, and you know that you are gonna go one, two, three, four, five, which means this needs to be a negative five, because if I solve this to go back to standard form, I would need to move my decimal place to the left five places. That's why I made that exponent negative. Another way to remember that is, this negative exponent is gonna make a really, really small number. If it was a positive exponent, it'd make a really, really big number, okay? So again, using the shortcuts of scientific notation to help you out. Hopefully you got those right. If not, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it, but it is time
Welcome to the Challenge Zone. All right, so here's your Challenge Zone problem. Without solving these the long way or using your shortcut, which of these has to be a smaller number? Looking at the scientific notation for each, okay? So again, don't solve them out. Try to use your reasoning. Looking at your powers of 10 is your hint. Go ahead and pause the video. Pick which one you think is smaller. Why do you think that? And if the answer is I don't know, that's okay. And then push play to check your work. All right, so hopefully you just paused it and you thought about it. Now, right here, my significant digit 6.7 and 2.1, right? A lot of us might think, okay, 2.1 is a smaller number. However, those are just the significant digits. We know because this is in scientific notation, we're missing some zeros, right? Which means I know this one has to be the smaller number because I'm multiplying it by 10 to the negative fifth power, which is going to make me move my decimal place further to the left and give me more zeros, making it a smaller number. To prove it, here is 6.7 times 10 to the negative fifth power written in standard form, which is 67 millions, right? So like you took a whole donut, you cut it into a million pieces, and you ate 67 of them, right? That's kind of what that fraction means. 2.1 times to the negative third power is really 21 ten thousandths, okay? So again, our significant digits made this one seem smaller, but when you looked at the power of tens, I knew I would have more zeros in this number to the left, making this a smaller number because it's a smaller fraction. So hopefully you got that one right. If not, again, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online. We really appreciate you checking out Instructor Beats. We'd love for you to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment. Let us know where you're watching from. You can check all of our stuff out at instructthebeats.com, including our awesome merchandise. We'd love for you to check that out. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.